Hey guys, and welcome to Petroped, and welcome to this week's Midweek 180. Now, as you're watching this, I'm actually in the north of Finland in a place called Ivalo with Michelin at their Arctic Proving Ground. I'm filming this Midweek 180, the earliest I've ever filmed. It's actually Sunday afternoon, just after the F1. I had to wait for the F1 to kind of add that into my midweek 180, but this is the only way I could get a midweek 180 out to you, and I've got some really cool stuff I wanted to talk about. But if you've not seen one of these before, this is my midweek update where I bring you my news, views, and information about upcoming reviews, all filmed in one take. I'm gonna put 180 seconds in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, and that's it, a very simple format. So without further ado, let's get cracking with this week's midweek 180. I shall start my timer. Okay, uh, now then, last week's leader of the pack was Francois G. Well done, mate. Been a while since you've had one of those. Joined in the Magnificent Seven by Mal Michael Kember, Jake Warren, Rod Matheson, Gary Matthews, Paul Mead, and Tristan Bird. So whoever was the first comment this week, you'll be my leader of the pack next week, and the first seven comments will be in my Magnificent Seven. Where are you and what you're doing? Well, that's long-term subscriber Andrew Gibbs, who's been in hospital since the 9th of February. I wanted everybody to send in messages to get well soon. Mate, I hope you are recovering and all things are going in the right direction. But wherever you are right now and whatever you're doing, put it in the comments below and I'll give you a shout out next week. Now, last week's question was about what next James Bond car we think we should have for the next James Bond. There were lots of ex really cool examples. Lucid Air, there was a few EVs, a few um, left field. For me, I really struggled to think of James Bond driving anything but uh, an Aston Martin, I'm afraid. Film theme. Any sci-fi technology that you've seen in a sci-fi film that you would want to happen in real life? You'll understand why I asked that question uh, a bit later on in the Midweek 180, but anything you've seen in a science fiction film that you would like to happen in real life? That's this week's question. Formula One, the first race of the year has just finished and uh, big chunks of it were a bit kind of processional, but on the whole, I think we're in for a great season and certainly watching Quali live and the race live this weekend. It's so good to have F1 back. I'm such a big fan. Red Bull look very, very strong. One, two, um, uh, in quali and one two in the race. Um, Alonso coming third was just amazing. What a kind of brilliant battle he had with Lewis Hamilton, some brilliant overtaking. And I, I went through a phase of not really liking Alonso, but I have to say I really like him now. I just think he's an absolute legend. And then Leclerc, well, they've let him down again. Engine failure in the Ferrari. They really need to sort their life out big style um, if they're going to challenge the top boys, because the Aston Martins look really, really strong. Mercedes, uh, Toto all said the car basically won't win anything this year. They need to almost rethink the design, and let's not talk about McLaren. Oh, my days. But I wanted to talk about, um, uh, last week, a Ford Sierra Cosworth RS500 sold at auction for just shy of £600,000. They were 20 grand when new. I remember seeing them drive around. In fact, I went to a lecture by a senior designer at Cosworth back in about 1990, and I remember him saying, you know, all these people were modifying Cosworths at the time, and he went, don't bother with that, just buy an RS500. We did everything you could to that, to that engine and that car. That's as good as it can be. Only one of 500, but the thing that did make me chuckle was they're only 227 PS. You look at all the silly horsepowers we have in cars these days, five, 600 horsepower in a production saloon. Look at like the new M3, for example, and an RS500 Cosworth, which is basically a road going British touring car, only had 227 PS, which is about 50 horsepower less than my Mini. Oh, oh I knew I was gonna run out of time. Um, so yeah, I just found, I just, the world has gone mad. I mean, it was a beautiful example, don't get me wrong, but. The world has gone mad. One of 500 cars, 600 grand though. Really? Um, Monday, I didn't put a video out Monday. I've been traveling so much um, the last couple of weeks. I had a week off skiing and then last week I was in the Netherlands for a couple of days. I was filming all day uh, with the new Mulgari Project PP video. I just didn't have the bandwidth to put out a film on Monday. So I started to put a few shorts out. Hopefully if you watch those, I'm gonna drop some more shorts on the channel. They don't, they're not great for monetization, but they're, they're nice ways to kind of summarize some of the videos I've done in the past. But this Friday at six, last week I went to the Netherlands. I drove there in my Porsche, Lady P, and I went to visit the guys from Pal V, who are next year gonna start deliveries of the world's first flying car and I went to their Fly Drive Academy and I had a tour of the factory and I got to fly 
um, a gyroplane and look around their flying car. Absolutely mega. And I was helped out by a really good friend of mine, Eric, who now, well, we met for the first time when we were at Wim Hof last year. He saw a Instagram story of mine, said, I live 30 minutes from Palvi, met me there. He's a professional automotive videographer and he made the video absolutely mega. But I've got a bit of a giveaway because the guys from Palvi, while I was there, very kindly, I don't know whether you've seen these, these remove before flight labels that sometimes you see. These ones are cool. These are Pal V ones, but the sticker on them is remove before fly drive. And I've got mine on my Porsche keys, but the, um, Andy and the guys from Pal V have given me 10 of these flight remove before fly drive labels. And what I'm gonna do is a giveaway. So if you comment, like, and share my video on Friday, Anybody who does that within the first two hours is going to go into a uh, prize draw and the first 10 um, names I draw randomly out of a hat from those first two hours worth of comments, likes and shares. Um, I'm going to send you one of these really cool flight drive labels for your car keys. And I think that's really, really cool. So yes, Friday's video at six, basically flying the world's or driving and flying the world's first flying car. I mean, <laughs> what? Is, and that's the sci-fi thing. Can you imagine, you see a sci-fi film years ago, like the Jetsons or something, and they've got these cars that fly around. That's gonna happen next year. First customer deliveries take place next year. It's a stunning piece of engineering. So interesting. I could have made the film three hours long, struggled to get it down to a reasonable time. But and I, I, for me, I'm so pleased. I think it's one of the best films I've ever made. I'm not bigging it up, but I really do. I'd love to have your feedback on that, by the way. Um, and then, um, all I need to say is you're watching this while I'm in um, Ivalo with Michelin or Michelin. Um, there is a huge announcement coming to the channel very, very soon. Um, so stay tuned for that. But um, make sure you're following me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, especially Instagram for stories. Although this is Wednesday, I'll have put loads of stuff up by now. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. There's so much behind the scenes stuff goes on my Instagram stories. But for now, <laughs> I'm gonna call it quits because I need to get back in because I'm off to the airport first thing tomorrow morning to fly to Finland and you're watching this and I'm there already. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petrobed for plenty more content to come. And I'll see you on the next film, which is this Friday at six o'clock for me flying and driving the world's first flying car, the PAL V. And if you comment, like, and share the video within the first two hours, then your name will go into a hat to be pulled out for one of these cool fly drive, uh, remove before fly drive tags. I think they're very, very cool. As I said, I've got one on my Porsche keys. I'll see you on that film, guys. You take care. Drive safe. And maybe for this one, drive and fly safe. <laughs> see you on Friday, guys.